Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Jack's Mechanics. Today, a bit of a different one, uh, 2009 Holden Commodore SV6, so 3.6 litre, LLT is the engine. Um, we're just going to be servicing the trans. Our trans code is MYB, that's obviously not the trans number, but just a trans code for Holden. It's a six speed in this thing, and um, we'll get it up in the air and have a look and see if we can get a trans code off it. But yeah, the way that you want to maybe find out if you've got a four, five, or six in this era, um, take it for a drive, put it in your manual select, punch it through all the way to the top gear, and um, if it doesn't go past four, you got a four. If it doesn't go past five, you got a five. If it goes to six, you got a six. So. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get this up in the air and um, have a look at this pan and show you how to service it. So here, here we are underneath. Um, first things first, we will note the dip in the pan. Um, and that means that this is a check plug. This is what sets the level on these trans. So inside here, I uh, can't remember if there's a tube as well. Um, but when we pull it off, we'll, we'll um, have a look. Up the side, this is on the right hand side, or the driver's side in Australia. Um, we've got our fuel plug here, try and get you focused on that a bit better. Um, so it's basically just a little plastic plug, um, we'll pop that out, I'll, I'll show you how it works basically. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, we will take this out and drain some fluid out, make it easier, and then we'll just work our way from the back, take these out, take a few out, take a few out, we'll drop the pan down a bit and let, let all the oil come out on, into the drain pan. and. Um, yeah, basically when we get to to this side of the pan, we'll probably leave these four in, um, but we will crack them to allow, allow it to come down and we'll take the outer two out and we'll work on the middle two, slowly lowering it down and it will allow the pan to drop down and basically empty the fluid out. I'll just get a uh, little pry bar and show you how to get this plug out. So this is what I'll be using, just a little small pry. Um, A bit hard to get you focused and just want to lever it up just like that pop that up and then pull it out it's basically just a little plug oh, you can see it's sort of coming out a bit stiff So that's what we're left with. So when you pop this down, basically just pushes that out a little bit and creates the seal. So just pop that up there, and now we'll we'll crack, take this out, and um, start working our bolts. So 14 mil, crack it off, and literally just spin that out. So our oil is pretty dirty, definitely due for a change. Um, and you see it at this sort of brown colour, you know, you're probably going to be looking at around 50, 60,000 K since it's last service, so probably really, realistically want to be servicing the gearboxes every 40 odd thousand. Um, can't find an actual trans code on this, so we'll try and get that for you later on in the video. Um, but if we have a look underneath here, um, it tells you what oil you want to be running, it's your Dextron 6. Um, we don't actually use Dextron 6 itself, we use an oil that is suitable for multiple vehicles, it's a fully synthetic um, automatic transmission fluid and it does Dextron 6 and many other um, oils, Mercon and so forth, not ZF though, um, but yeah that's what, what we'll be running in this one and it does say to check the level at 30 to 50 degrees C and our ambient temperature here is 25. Uh, it's going to be close enough to set in the correct level. Um, never really warmed it up enough um, and had, you know, worried about it that much that it caused the drama. So, you know, you, you can be anal if you really want to. Um, you sort of would need a scan tool to get the correct transmission temperature level. But, uh, yeah, really not a big, big deal. So we'll start working around these bolts. So we've got those four out and um, all the bolts are the same length. 10 mil on the outside. Just going to drop these into the tray. Usually, if I wasn't recording, um, I would 
not put them in the tray and get them oily, but yeah, go do what you gotta do. Um, if you really desire these rubber gaskets on here, you can reuse. Um, we will be putting a new one on there. Just have a look at your seal, make sure your seal is all nice. Mm -mm. Might help if I'm actually on the bolt. Might actually take these bolts out. You can see the oil is starting to come down out of the pan. Save a few of them from getting dirty. So now we'll just work this one a little bit. Work this one a little bit. Should do this by hand. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And work it down, take the other ones out now that they're cracked. <clears throat> See what I mean, and it's catching the oil there. I think what I would do, uh, just to stop me from potentially spilling it, um, now that it's down this far, a fair amount of oil is going to be coming out, but it still will be reasonably full. I will basically push the pan up with my left hand, take the two bolts out, drop it down, tip it into the pan. So, I'm going to need both hands to do that. <clears throat> So we've got that down, and we do have that tube in there that I was talking about that sets the level. So we can take this gasket off. It's got little dowels that locate the gasket, which is nice. Um, put, pop that on the floor, not a big deal. And tip that oil out. <coughs> take our max down. Not a, deep, not a massive amount of material in there, which is good. Now I'll turn that on. So now you just want to basically give your pan a clean um, and give your magnet a clean as well. Um, we'll just be using this as kerosene and degreaser. Um, then we'll degrease it, water it, dry it out perfectly and um, clean around your gasket face as well. Um, and then we'll, we'll get the filter off in the trans. I think we'll get the filter off now. Um, this is our filter in here. There's no bolts on this one and you literally just want to pull it down side to side a little bit and work it out. There will be some oil that comes out. Not super ideal, but you could do what you could do. Just pulling down and obviously trying to work it out. Jesus, almost need two hands. Who's coming? Got oil running down my arm. There we go. So, there's no seal on here. That's going to be stuck in the gearbox, which is okay. Um, two ways you can go about it if it's still flush, which it is. And if you put your hand up there and feel it, um, I think it will change this one. You basically want to pry that out um, on the inside and make on the inside of the seal, work it down. Do not damage the sealing face on the outside. You don't want any oil bypassing through there. So um, we'll just use like a little hook tool like this and hook it out. It shouldn't be overly tight. Um, and we obviously also want to wipe up our face on the bottom of the trans for it get all ready to go back together. So we've got everything cleaned up. Um, seal was a bit of a pain to get out, so what I basically did is put it in and um, leave it across the seal a little bit and then tapped it up and rotated it, popped out, no dramas. Um, and then to put it back in, 24 mil socket with a bit of an extension. Um, and it fits nicely on the the top and you can put it up 
and then just hammer it up a bit and then that's all good bit of crc on the outside of the seal um no filter in there just yet go over to the bench pan magnet cleaned up nicely don't forget to put your magnet back in at this point and your gasket you got your little locating dowse put your gasket back on um, with the filter bit of crc just on the outside and just to make it a bit easier for it to go in <coughs> and pop that back up and make it snug all the way home probably going to need two hands because you sort of want to put it up straight obviously into the seal um, so yeah i'll pop pop that in and um I'll get you back all right guys so we're nice and home um actually put a bit of crc on the inside of the seal as well um and you can tell when you're home sort of when that lip is pretty much flush with the uh transmission casing obviously lined up nicely all good wiped the bottom of the trans case and now we can put our pan back on so we've got our gasket sitting in there we'll literally just put our pan on put a few bolts in um and then we'll we'll seat it up and then we'll put the rest of them in got four bolts in one there one there two at the opposite side and now you can just go and feed the rest of them in it's just it's just um sort of nipped up against the the bottom those bolts aren't tight at all um yeah basically go around and do them all in there uh, i'll use my electric rattle gun 3.8 drive to put it back in um just show you one or two honestly at this point in time we've got it pulled up pretty square the rest of it's not going to really matter too much um so that's it as the, you know the rattle gun's not even doing any hammering just taking it up and getting it um, all sat down we'll do that for the rest of the bolts and then we'll get the t-bar and we'll just go around a couple of times nip them all up try and make sure they're all the same torque um, I've never talked them up I don't really care what the torque spec is I live in the real world I'm not gonna be anal about it never had one leak especially with a new thick gasket like this I'm not gonna have any dramas um, so yeah, we'll get we'll get all those bolts in. All right, so we're in. Here we can see the socket. Literally, not even a quarter of a turn once they're sat. Hard to do this with one hand, but you can you can feel when it gets tight. It doesn't need to be over tight. It's just a small gasket. There's heaps of bolts. Just watch my hand. That one's a little bit loose. That's it. One's a little bit loose once it gets sat down. Just uh, just tighten it up. Doesn't have to be over the top. So we'll do that. We'll just go around in a circle. Doesn't really matter that much because it's already been pulled up pretty square when we did it at the start. And yeah, we're just making our way around. I'm gonna go around there one more time. Do the last few and then I'll go again, just again making sure they're tight, literally just like a tiny little bit. Um, once we're done, um, we'll um, get the car down, we'll get somebody in the car. Um, you don't have to have somebody in the car uh, if you don't have another person or you don't have a hoist. Um, what you would want to do, you would want to fill it up, start pumping it in through the top here till it starts coming out over here while the car is not running and then when it starts dribbling out put your plug back in jump in the car pull it through the gears park reverse neutral drive a couple of seconds in each back into park jump back under the car keep the car running pull your plug back out it would have stopped stopped dripping by now because it's all being pumped around the gearbox fill it up again until it starts running out when it starts running out a decent run out not just a trickle just a little bit of a, a run out put your plug back in Clean it all up, put your fill plug in, job done. But um, I'll show you how to do that with two people, um, just to make it a bit easier. Okay, yeah.
Um, this is the trans kit that we use. It's a filter kit 1165. Uh, we buy this from Motor Specs if you're in Perth, W Western Australia. Um, they're in Welshpool, but yeah, that's the one that we use. This is our oil. You can see the condition of the oil here, um, nice and red. And before we had that dark um, brown colour from being burnt and some gear slippage, um, standard stuff. But yeah, this is called a lube guard. Um, it's fully synthetic. It does Textron 6 oil. It does another multiple range of oils. And um, that's what we're going to be putting in. So we're just bringing the car down. Um, we're going to have the apprentice jump in the car. We'll take it back up. I'll start filling it up. And when, he's, um, when it starts running out, he'll start the car. He'll pull it through the gears. And um, you'll see that level sort of start pumping around the gearbox couple of crates for us sitting in the side of it there and check plugs out we're just going to drain it into here this goes into waste oil anyway and um, when we wash it down it goes into a plate separator probably going to be about 30 pumps which is about three liters Right, uh, 25 start up, Joe. You can see that level disappear. You watch the tail shaft. Meanwhile, I'm pumping in more oil. There we go, 44 pumps draining down. I'll just go get the check plug. <clears throat> Grab our check plug. So that's where we know there is oil coming out. Um, you can put that in. Fortunately, I got oil on my hand again. And I'm just going to give it one, two, three more pumps, just for good measure. It was just at the level, we want it just, to, just above. Um, like I say, our ambient temperature is like 25 today, so close enough to that oil temperature spec. Right, oh Jake, turn that off. So I hope you could see that he was pulling it through the gears and then at that point in time, the oil level also went away when the car was started. So we'll take this out, <clears throat> pop that back in there, put our level plug. I need to separate this again because I popped it together for you guys. One second, I'll just pause the video. Okay. So just like that, put it up in the side there. Pop it in and then push the top tag down, lock it in. Do your 14 mil up, clean it up, job done. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for joining me again and um, hope you learned something from this. Please consider liking, please consider subscribing. We'll catch you in the next one guys, take care. I'll just add guys, um, 6L50 trans in this thing, but you pretty much follow these procedures for most uh, transmissions in a Commodore 6L80. 4L80, they're all pretty much the same family, just slightly different variants, but if you follow the same steps, um, you will get to an end goal. The fill procedure might be a little bit different, um, but yeah, not a major drama. If it's got a dipstick up the top here, obviously you fill it up through the dipstick hole, um, drain it out the same way, uh, and that's about it. The... Um, one thing that I was going to say is with the trans oil in this thing, um, customer didn't want to spend the extra money to 
pull the lines off and carry out a flush. Um, so we can only do what we can do. We recommend that obviously when it gets that dirty. Um, this is why we want to pres basically want to service it on time um, before it gets to this stage. Glazes up the clutch packs and it's never a good thing from here on out. But um, this is reality and it's what we deal with. So anyway, see you the next one, guys. Take care.